automakers offer optional performance upgrades for their fast models in full certainty that many buyers will ante up the extra money to make sure they're getting the faster version. Why wouldn't the buyer who'd already selected a BMW M4 want still more power and a further tuned chassis? The attributes that already drive the decision to go for the M model over the Workaday 4 Series Coupe. Hence the competition package, a $5,500 option on the BMW M4 and its M3 sedan sibling that gives a fractional boost in horsepower along with firmer chassis settings, some subtle styling tweaks, and a raspier exhaust. To be released late in the 2016 model year, it will be more widely available for 2017. Don't buy it for the extra performance, in ordinary driving, you won't feel it. The competition package brings 19 more horsepower, taking the total to 444. We'd be lying if we said that, despite this 4% higher peak output, it felt any faster or slower than the impressively rapid standard car. Only the peak power changes, and it arrives at 7,000 revolutions per minute, 300 revolutions per minute lower than in the standard M4, to work remains rated at 406 pounds to foot, starting at 1,850 revolutions per minute and staying there through 5,500. BMW claims that the competition package cuts 0.1 second off the coupe's 0 to 60 mile per hour time. In our tests, the standard M4 with manual transmission gets to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds, make that 3.7 with the optional, $2,900, 7-speed DCT automatic. Bearing a tenth off those times is not a difference you'd be able to detect without accurate test equipment and a long straight. The chassis changes offer a more compelling reason to pay the extra and that it's despite making the ride even firmer in what was already a firmly suspended car. The competition package includes the adaptive M suspension, otherwise a $1,000 standalone option, with rear axle air springs, but with spring rates that are 15% stiffer, upgraded dampers, and more twist-resistant anti-roll bars. Software settings for the various switchable dynamic systems also are reconfigured, effectively moving each of them up a notch. Comfort is the equivalent of the standard M4 Sport mode. Sport is in line with the regular car Sport Plus, and the competition package's Sport Plus calibration is for the hardcore driver who gargles gravel for breakfast. Standard 20-inch forged aluminum wheels, of the same gorgeous design as those found on the F4 GTS, but 0.5-inch narrower, silver rather than black, and without the orange accents, plus a black finish for the grill, the M4 badge on the tail, and the quad exhaust tips, are all that visually distinguish the competition package car from M4S without the option. For the interior, Black merino leather with silver stitching is available by special request, otherwise, the only change in the cabin is that the package deletes the standard lumbar support for the heated sport seats. Driving is what counts. We've accused the standard M4 of being designed more for the track than the street, but the pump-up suspension works impressively well on the road. The default comfort mode is noticeably firmer, but the revised dampers seem to manage bumps better than those of the standard M4, which sometimes struggle to quell certain frequencies of rough surface. Sport Plus does feel too firm for road use unless you're determined to test how well your dental work is anchored, but it promises to add an extra dimension on a circuit. So, while the competition package has narrowed the bandwidth of the M4's talents, it has also given it greater clarity of purpose. The steering feels crisper and delivers more feedback at road speeds while remaining equally faithful at higher loadings. The sport exhaust delivers some much-needed rasp and crackle in comparison with the stock M4's droning soundtrack, even though it's supplemented by audio system enhancement. Our European test car came with the optional carbon ceramic brakes, $8,150. As we've noticed on other BMWs, the first hard application of these brakes feels as if there's a momentary pause before they bite, which gives the driver an attendant adrenaline spike at first, but as temperature builds, they're wonderful. 
like the regular M4, the competition package version struggles to find enough traction from two driven wheels to match the twin turbocharged sixes prodigious to work output, especially given the low engine speed at which this arrives and the police rate abruptness of its entrance. When going quickly, the driver sees the stability control light flashing under surprisingly gentle throttle applications, even on dry pavement. De-energize the DSC, or even switch it to its more permissive sport mode, and the driver has to be constantly ready to respond when the tail makes a break for freedom. This is heaps of fun on a wide, empty race track, but far less so on a public highway. While the F4 is much faster and much more exciting than the V8 power D92 M3 ever was, it can't match the finesse of its naturally aspirated predecessor. Apply some cost-benefit analysis, and the competition package scores a resounding yes, adding more than enough edge to justify the increase in price for most of those who would pick an M4. If you missed out on the F4 GTS, or if you just couldn't find the necessary $134,200 for that 493 horsepower, 2-seat Ultra Bimmer, then the competition package offers the next best alternative, and at an impressive saving. Saving.